What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Have you been watching Shinola? Well, I've shown you in the past a bunch of guys' watches on the channel here from Shinola because I really love the brand and it's from my hometown of Detroit. But I wanted to show you this watch because this is not meant for guys, but I'm sure that a guy could wear it. Uh, but I was really kind of curious about the uh, components of this watch because uh, it might have a little history for me. So what we have is kind of this linen box. It's kind of interesting. It's unlike a box I've seen before. And inside what we have is basically the Golmeski watch, but it's actually called the Shirley. Now I should have probably looked up why. And obviously uh, Golmeski was uh, kind of an interesting name for this watch. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, it's actually because the first time Shinola was at Basel World, the first person that came to the Shinola booth was named, a lady named Golmeski. So that was kind of interesting. A, a lot of history here that the watch and the whole line has carried that name just for stop by. So it's kind of interesting. Now, uh, this watch is actually a gift for someone. So I wanted to just show it to you before I send it on to the recipient. And because I do love giving Shinolas. Uh, looks like we've got a Shinola book here, so that's all that comes with it. Microfiber pillow there. All right, so back onto the watch. I've kind of taken off that front plastic. What you can see here is we have a square case, stainless steel. Look at that high polished finish. It's very light, uh, which is probably pretty typical. I love these square kind of uh, tag or Monaco type of uh, watch uh, case shapes. You know, kind of nice rounded edges, even though it's sharp. It's not like a sharp, sharp edge, kind of all sh rounded and soft edged. Uh, very short little lugs sticking out of there. And you can see here, we have a 16 millimeter alligator leather watch band in uh, beautiful blue. And then uh, because it's a square case, it actually will look a little bit larger. Um, if I put this on my wrist, it's gonna look pretty small, but it's a 32 millimeter case, I believe. Now, what's most interesting about this watch is that the face of it, if I can get in on that, is a blue stone. And on the description, they call it La Piece. L-A-P-I-S. Now, I actually think this blue stone is referred to as lapis lazuli kind of in South America. When I was in Chile, this was kind of one of their big, um, oh, native stones that they put in a lot of stuff as decoration. And so that's what I think it is. It's kind of like, oh, it's almost like a marble or a granite and they, you can cut it like flat like this, but you can see the texture in it. And it's not just a, a a, a blue itself it's got a little like quartz like look to it it's really really interesting and just looks like a kind of a rich marble or something like that now that being the case because all these stones are a little bit different every dial face is going to be a little bit different uh, applied silver markers at the hour and uh, silver hands there no loom on anything you know the gold mesky with a little flower up there in Detroit. It's a very simple, understated watch, which is nice. And quartz uh, Ronda movement and no screw down crown or anything. You get the little Golmeski flower there too. So really nice, kind of simple watch. Um, and I will show you here that 16 millimeters wide here, but 14 millimeters wide here. And you can see this polished, um, polished buckle right there, a couple of retention straps. So I'll back out of this for you. That was pretty, that was pretty close. So pretty nice little watch. And this would make a wonderful addition to a lot of ladies' wrists, I think. The blue is a little bit in your face, but um, for the person I'm giving it to, my sister, uh, hopefully she'll like it. She's kind of a little flamboyant, so. And I don't think she has a Shinola yet, so. Hopefully she'll enjoy it. And obviously they come in a lot of color combos, so you don't have to get it in this exact one. And they aren't an inexpensive by any means, but uh, just something that you can wear on your wrist, have a nice little story, explain the history of the stone, and celebrate Detroit. Check it out. I will put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.